Star Wars 7x7 episode 2030. Remember last week when rumors were bubbling about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series being cancelled or possibly put on hold and it seemed like it was a bunch of hot air? Well, uh, punch it. Hey Rebel Riser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode, so let's not bury the lead. It does appear that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series has been put on hold for how long? That's still a question that remains to be answered. So let's run back the tape here about a week and talk about the origins of this story and about how we arrived at the place we've arrived at now. So. Last week on the show, we talked about the fact that two different sources, one being a website called Fandom Wire, and another being the Twitter account for what was purporting to be discussing film, which has reported some production stories and whatnot, uh, but wasn't actually the discussing film Twitter because the Twitter handle itself was misspelled. But either way, both of these places were reporting that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series had been canceled and it exploded all over social media. And Phantom Wire later posted an update saying, um, actually, not canceled, but uh, delayed. That's what they were hearing from their sources. And other outlets had picked it up saying that they had heard other things from Phantom Wire, other leaks, rumors, spoilers, and that they had been a reliable source in the past, which is what made them decide to roll with it. Personally, I hadn't heard of Phantom Wire until the story broke, so I can't say what you know, other sites were saying about them. I didn't have that experience, so I was willing to take this whole situation with a big old grain of salt. Now, here we are a week later, and first Collider reported that they had heard from a couple of sources saying that the production had been shut down indefinitely and crew sent home. And then the Hollywood Reporter checked with their own sources and were able to confirm what the Collider folks were hearing. That doesn't necessarily confirm that the production has in fact been shut down because Disney and Lucasfilm have not provided any comments about the situation, but it is corroboration, if you will, that you know, the sources talking to Collider are telling the same thing to Collider that they're telling to The Hollywood Reporter, and Variety is also hearing the same thing as well. Now, here's where things get a little bit odd. Back in August of 2019, at the D23 Expo, when they had the big reveal about the Kenobi series, Kathleen Kennedy said on stage at the time that all the scripts were written and that they were on track to begin filming this year. But what's happened, according to these rumors and sources and whatnot, is that only two of the scripts were written, two of the six episodes that were planned, and that there was some dissatisfaction with the scripts, and that is what caused this whole situation to come about. The rumors are saying that the scripts and the overall story arc have been jettisoned. There isn't necessarily agreement among the multiple sources, or at least multiple sources are not able to confirm this particular thing I'm about to tell you, but one source tells The Hollywood Reporter that the storyline may have hewn a little bit too close to the kind of storyline that The Mandalorian had. That similar to how The Mandalorian is protecting Baby Yoda, the Obi-Wan story was going to be about him protecting Baby Luke, or, you know, youngster Luke, right? And possibly even Leia to a degree as well. And so that may be the reason why they ultimately decided to jettison the story and the scripts that they've developed so far. So, the rumor goes, they are now looking for a new writer or writers to work on this project and retool it or just reboot it entirely. Hossein Amini is no longer with the project, apparently. But they are hearing from the inside sources, both Collider and Hollywood Reporter and Variety, both, all, <laughs> that Deborah Chow is still attached to the project and Ewan McGregor is still attached to the project as well, so that... It is going to happen, it's just a matter of when, not if, at this point. And another odd thing that's being reported about this is that the series was originally scheduled to be six episodes, and now with this retooling, it might be down to four episodes. So that 
Yeah, that's kind of odd. I mean, I know that the original, original rumors before the Kenobi TV series was announced was that it was going to be a feature-length film, and that was back when Stephen Daldry was in talks to come onto the project and so on and so forth. So the notion of it going from a two-hour movie to a six-hour limited series to shrinking down to a four-hour limited series, presuming an hour for the episodes on Disney+, Plus, that's probably not necessarily a safe presumption, as we saw with The Mandalorian. But that also presumes that whatever the Daldry version of the project that might have been worked on had anything to do with what was being developed for the Kenobi series for Disney+. Plus, So, still a lot of ifs, ands, and buts that are unknown at this point. But the fact that the you know, respected and trusted Hollywood publications like The Hollywood Reporter and Variety are reporting on this rumor and bringing it out, that definitely seems to make it much more likely that this is, in fact, the case that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is on hold. Not to slight collider or anything like that, but yeah, when you hear it from Hollywood Reporter and Variety, like, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's it. <laughs> anyway, so what do we make about this? Well, let's talk about that after the break. Stay tuned. Hey Rebel Razor, I've made some changes to the Asteroid Belt level at patreon.com slash SW7X7 and they are all with sponsors in mind. So if you want to get the word out about your business, your product, your service to a dedicated Star Wars audience, then please check out patreon.com slash SW7X7 and look for the Asteroid Belt level for details. Again, that's patreon.com slash SW7X7. Welcome back. So, these kinds of changes... Lucasfilm has sort of a mixed track record, to be honest with you. I mean, on the one hand, you have The Force Awakens. They changed writers for the script before the movie began shooting, and boy oh boy, <laughs> that one turned out pretty well, right? And then you have The Rise of Skywalker, which was being developed with different writers than the ones that ended up actually working on the final product. And eh, yeah, that one didn't go so well in terms of box office and ratings and whatnot. I mean, a billion is pretty darn good, but it was still below expectations. You know what I mean. And then, of course, there's Solo, which had its directors depart. And, you know, there were no script issues. It was just, you know, the director change. And that didn't work out so well. But then you have Rogue One where not only did they change writers from Gary Whitta to Chris Weitz, but they also, after the first run of the movie or the first shot at it with Gareth Edwards, they brought Tony Gilroy in and they entirely reworked the third act with reshoots and whatnot. And it did terrifically well and is kind of beloved. <laughs> so, oh, goodness. I mean, I don't know. My... I. I enjoyed it at the time, but I'll tell you, it has really grown on me over the last three years. But anyway, the point being that, I don't know, uh, if I had to make a choice between, you know, switching writers and starting with different scripts or retooling or whatever, versus having a lot of film in the can and then looking at it and going, oh man, we're in trouble, this is no good. I would much rather catch things at the script stage, personally. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's not necessarily good news to hear this sort of thing, but the fact that they're doing it now as opposed to being in production and looking at it and going, oh my goodness, we're in trouble, yeah, I think that's better news, comparatively speaking. So, obviously, there's still a lot more to learn about this situation, but that's where things stand for now, and that is going to do it for this episode of the show as well. Thank you so much for joining me for it, as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.